Hi, good morning everybody. It's Tuesday. It's time for another uh, edition of Coffee with PC. I have my coffee here. Uh, today it's Starbucks, a dark roast coffee. No surprise there. I think every day I have some sort of dark roast. This is Cafe Verona from Starbucks. Really thrilled that we have our Starbucks here in Key Largo. Just, just uh, not even about a mile up the road and uh, got to be honest, uh, pop in there quite a bit from time to time and enjoy that. Uh, enjoy their coffee. I'm sure some of you do as well. Um, this morning we are in what's called Holy Week as Christians, uh, that week between Palm Sunday and Easter. And, and it's, it's an interesting time in our world. And, and one of the things that, that happens is people try to make sense of it. And I've, I've been asked this question by a couple people, and maybe you've thought it, and, and maybe you've seen it. I've heard a few sermons or heard a few pastors talking about it. I've seen it on a few uh, blogs. And the question is this, is what's happening now in our world a sign of the end of time? Eschatology is what we call the study of last things or the end of time. Uh, a few years back, the Left Behind book series talked about those. It has to do with with the end of this age and the return of Jesus uh, and, and all that happens with, with that. Now, now you've been around, I've been here 20 years, and if you've been around our church a while, you know I don't claim to be an expert on prophetic and eschatological literature, things like the book of Revelation. Uh, I think they're, they're fascinating. I'm, I'm thrilled, actually, that the book of Revelation is one of the books in the Bible that says you're blessed even if you read it. You don't have to understand it, you just have to read it. And so I encourage you to do that. But, but I'm not one that, that feels confident enough to read some of these passages and put my finger on it and say, this is exactly what's happening. This is it. And, and this is what this means. And when you, this points to this point in history or this action in history, I'm not, I'm not confident in that. Uh, but interestingly enough, one of the things that, that I wanted to talk about today on this Tuesday of Holy Week, the third day of Holy Week, is what... Uh, traditionally is associated with the events in the life of Jesus um, around Holy Week. And one of the things that many people think happened in Jesus' life on that Tuesday of Holy Week is something called the Olivet Discourse. It's called the Olivet Discourse because it was given from the Mount of Olives. And guess what? It concerns the signs of the end of the age. Uh, one passage of scripture, it's in the Gospels, but Matthew beginning in about verse tw chapter 21 and the chapters that follow, um, see some of the things that many think happened. Jesus said experiences he had on that Tuesday of Holy Week. A and so while there, there are some fascinating things in here and, and some things that point out what are the signs of the end of the age, uh, those are the things I don't feel confident about putting my finger on. But here's something I can feel confident about because Jesus himself said it in Matthew chapter 24, verse 36. When we have all these things happening and we wonder, could this be it? This is what Jesus said. But concerning that day and hour, meaning that day when, when the end happens, when, when the end and Jesus returns, no one knows, not the angels of heaven nor the Son, but only the Father knows. And then he goes on to say it'll be, it'll be a surprise, like some taken, some left behind, and all that sort of thing, which is where they got that book title from. Uh, and so what, what I can say from what Jesus says in this section of Scripture is we can't know, and I'm not going to pretend to know this is the time or this is not the time. But here's what I think if you go through these passages, you read some of the parables, like the parables of the, the, the bridegroom coming and the, the, the bridesmaids, the ten virgins that were some ready, some not. Here's the emphasis. Every time in Scripture, I think, when we see these things about the end of the age, here's the emphasis. Not know not be sure that you can say it's this day or that day. It's this, be ready whenever it happens. Because we may not know, but we can be ready. And one of the things we want to do this Holy Week as Christians is, is focus our minds and our hearts on who Jesus is, on what he did when he came and he lived and he died and he rose again. And so we're trying to do that in various ways this week. I wanted to mention a few things uh, that, that I'd like you to know about. One of them is... Uh, our Good Friday service, um, for services for the weekend. We're going to have a Good Friday service, and we've bought these. These are um, communion cups that have on the top a sealed wafer and then a second seal that has the cup, and we've got these uh, that we would like to get to you to use as part of our Good Friday service. This Friday, Good Friday, 7 o'clock, we'll do a live stream 
for our Good Friday service. And if you'd like to participate with these elements of communion, we'd like to get them to you. You don't have to have these. If you have some juice and some bread or crackers, you can use those. But if you want these, we have some. We just need you to get in contact with us and say, hey, I'd like some and we'll do our best. You can swing by the office and we'll give you enough for your family or we can try maybe to get them to your, you know, pass them out that way. So, so I wanted you to know about that. We have those. The second thing I want you to know about is a new thing I'm doing. Uh, I heard it from another pastor up in Miami. I thought it was a really great idea, so I borrowed it from him, and I've set it up. I'll put the link in the, uh, the Facebook Live notes or, or on Instagram TV, however you're watching this. I'll put the link to it below, but it's something, uh, this is Coffee with PC. I'm calling it Pray with PC. You know, because we're apart and because we're not coming, you know, oftentimes at the end of our services, we have what's called an invitation and people come up and they just take a few minutes and I'm able to pray with them. And sometimes it happens during the week. People will stop by the office and say, listen, this is going on. Can I just talk to you and pray with you? Um, and so since we can't do it that way, I've tried. Uh, it's not not the same, but it's at least something. Another way that we can connect and we can pray together. And it's through what we use as technology called Zoom. And uh, there'll be there's a calendar that I've set up um, with all the days. It's gonna be uh, Monday through Friday in the afternoons, about an hour and a half in the afternoons from two to 3.30, um, divided up into six 15 minute appointments every day. And so I'll, I'll put the link in the notes of this, uh, this particular Coffee with PC video, and you can click on that and you can pick your day and then it'll open up and you'll have uh, a time. And so you can say, um, you know, let's say, Tuesday, you click that date. What's, what's today? Today is the 7th. Tuesday the 7th. Then I'll say 2, 2.15. And you click on one of those times. I, I want to pray with, with Charles and make an appointment at 2.30. Well, you click on 2.30 and it'll send you a Zoom link so that you just, you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, through video technology, can, can talk for a few minutes and, and I'd be happy to pray with you, to encourage you, because a, a lot of us right now, uh, we're struggling at times and we need some encouragement. So, so it's just a small way. I know it's not the same as being in person. I know it's not the same as, as, as what we're used to, but, but maybe one way that we can connect and I can, can lift you up in prayer. Not that my prayers are any more important than yours or any closer to God than yours. We all have access to the Father, but sometimes it's good to have somebody else to pray with. So I wanted to make that available if it's uh, something that you might like to take advantage of. Again, just go to, you can go to our website. It says Pray with Pastor Charles, or I'll put the link here. Uh, on this on this uh, coffee with PC and you can click that so that's what's happening I'm um, good Friday if you need these let us know um, if you if you'd like to pray with me you can take advantage of those links and and most importantly of all the the theme of what we talked about you know use these days as uncertain as they are not to, to necessarily obsess and figure out is is Jesus coming back here's the reality he is coming back one day I don't know when even he said he wasn't sure only the father knows but we can be ready as his people because of what he's done for us by his death and his resurrection, which we celebrate this Easter weekend. God bless you all. Enjoy that cup of coffee this morning, and we'll connect a little bit later this week, either praying together or on Friday when we do Coffee with PC once again. All right, take care.